There are a lot of families that like this vehicle. Honda's CRV has been the best selling crossover sport ute for four out of the past five years. The competition can't be too crazy about it though. It's the new fourth generation. It sports crisp new clothes, drinks 10% less, and has a great reputation. Uh, you know, the qualities women wish upon their men. Here's an info McNugget. Honda says that the CRV name comes from what they originally set out to produce, a comfortable runabout vehicle. Remember that the next time you're playing Trivial Pursuit Car Edition. Prices start at 23,100 bucks. This mid-level EX model retails for 26.4. There's only one engine, a revised 2.4 liter four cylinder making 185 horsepower now. <laughs> The five-speed automatic, again, the only choice, is also tweaked but does not get a manual mode. The optional real-time four-wheel drive system is new. It anticipates slippery conditions for better traction and control. CRV has average acceleration with a zero to 60 time of just over nine seconds. Choose Econ mode to save gas and things get a bit sluggish, especially on hills. EPA rated fuel economy is excellent in class, 22 miles per gallon city, 30 highway. The camera doesn't capture it very well, but the lighting around the speedometer turns green when you're driving efficiently and white when you're late picking up the kids from daycare. At higher speeds, the CRV is much quieter now, less road noise. Thank you very much, Honda. In the city, it's pretty agile. The suspension, a good blend of comfort and sport. Disc brakes at all four wheels. Stop securely. U turns aren't a problem either. CRV is pretty maneuverable. Honda's real time four wheel drive is completely automatic and transparent in operation. Not intended for rough off roading, it's designed to maximize traction on sloppy and snowy roads, which is all most people really ever need. Those who plan on towing stuff should know it's limited to 1,500 pounds. This space is a tasteful and conservative place to spend miles and time. There are loads and loads and loads and loads of places to lose your sunglasses. Ah, there they are. Plastics might be hard, but everything looks good. There's a place to rest your elbows. The chairs are nicely bolstered. iPod and Bluetooth phone integration is standard on all CRVs. So is a backup cam with three different views. Pretty darn handy. Honda calls this screen the iMid, and it can tell you a lot of things. Connect an iPhone, and you can get Pandora streaming music. Hook up a BlackBerry or select Android phones, and it will read incoming text messages. It displays all sorts of information, lets you tailor the car's features to your liking, and is generally pretty easy to operate. A sniggly note about the display if you're not test driving at night. It casts kind of a blue glow onto the dashboard, which reflects on the windshield. Sort of looks like the Aurora Borealis. Gripes? Well, the sound system is average, the sunroof is small, and keyless ignition is much handier for busy parents. CRV is aimed squarely at women with young families. The rear doors open very wide so you can get car seats and squirming kids back there very easily. The seat, uh, it's a bit flat, but there's a good amount of space. Two seat pockets and door storage help keep things organized. This conversation mirror is kind of handy. A parent can tell who really hit who first. Leg and foot room won't be a problem for adults. The floor is nice and flat. Dang, no power port for phone charging. One feature I really liked in the outgoing CRV was a shelf that bisected the cargo area. Unfortunately, that's gone. Considering it might go off onto forest service roads, an actual spare tire is nice to have. Bag hooks and a storage nook are handy, but what really works in the real world is this. It's a one tug operation, kind of a neat ballet. A nice touch, you don't have to use the back levers to make it work. When I did this test with the outgoing CRV, it scored a lofty 12. Blake, cue the drum roll. Mm, eyeballing it, I have my doubts at first, but somehow, some way, Generation 4 continues the legacy of a dozen packs. Let's touch on design for a moment. A couple of my neighbors actually mistook the CRV for a Volvo, which actually says something about both brands. Personally, I see the new sheet metal as a big improvement. Nice to see balanced, purposeful lines from Honda again. 
Competition has never been tougher in the compact sport ute market. CRV is not the least expensive in class, but it does have the reputation and a new sense of style to win shoppers over. It won't be much of a surprise to find this comfortable runabout vehicle on the most popular list again. A little detail before I go, the doors cover the sills so they don't get completely muddy, and since they stay clean, so do your pants. Things like heated leather seats, leather-wrapped steering wheel, navigation, and automatic dual-zone climate control are available if you graduate to the next level up, the EXL. That's my take on the 2012 Honda CR-V. This is a pretty important rig for Honda. Over the past four years, annual sales have hovered around 200,000. Don't want to mess with that kind of success. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.